It's uh, 5 a.m. on a typical Wednesday morning in the life of a spatial industry professional and his dog. Stay there, Millie. Stay there. Say hello. That's it. We're at the airport. That's right. Yes. Tarong Airport. On the way to the next great adventure. Uh, so two uh, domestic flights and uh, eight hours later, we're finally at the very, very end of New Zealand. Obviously, this is bluff just here. Uh, behind us here somewhere is a helicopter that we're going to jump on to get out to our final destination, being Pinoho. Kotu. Yes, we've finally made it out here to Fenoaho. We are deep in the forest of the island at the moment. Unfortunately, we can't tell you exactly how deep we are or exactly our location because, as mentioned before, this island has some pretty special birds on it. Um, and the location of those birds is super top secret. Uh, and yes, we have seen a couple already. Um, so we can't give away uh, our exact location, unfortunately. So um, we're going to give you a bit of update as we're going along. But unfortunately, we won't be able to track us live. Um, but we'll let you know exactly what we can um, as we're exploring this incredible island. Okay, time for Scott's field work pro tips. If you're using field maps uh, out in the bush, do yourself a favor, get one of these, an iPad Mini 5. Um, I've been using this since eight o'clock this morning, and as you can see, it's still got 99% battery, and I'm way deep in the forest and down south where you would expect there wouldn't be a lot of satellites. It's still getting five meters accuracy, accuracy. and as you can see, there's Tracker doing its job inside field maps as it's supposed to. These things work great. Anyone looking at this situation now would think that it's kind of weird, but the reason why there is a dog on my shoulders uh, is because this is a sea, seal colony just here uh, in the forest. Not many people know that the New Zealand seals actually um, hang out in the forest, and this little dog, rightfully so, is petrified of them because they're like big, angry, vicious, semi-aquatic dogs um, that could attack you. Shit, there's one just there. So we're going very careful at the moment. Another pro tip for you, when people say, oh, I can't use your fancy pants app that you made because my mobile phone will get wet and touch screen will stop working. Well, get yourself one of these. This is a Blackview 9600E. It's a pretty simple phone, it's pretty cheap, but when it gets wet, the screen still works. So you can still do everything that you normally do with a screen when it's wet. It can be pissing down with rain and it still works. It's funny, with all the tech we have at our disposal now, I'm still out here manually servicing a Dock 200 with a dog. You can't beat some of the old school tools still. Good morning, just wanted to show you guys our accommodation here on the island. It's a bit weird. This giant green apple just here and it's kind of like a bit out of place here in the forest but very cool there's a little dog bed in there and a human bed and it's kind of like living inside a spaceship when you're inside like that and it's very very warm isn't it Millie? Is it warm? Yes
course, there are disadvantages to excellent location accuracy. For instance, I've been walking up this hill for half an hour now, and I know from looking at my device that I'm not even halfway yet. And by extrapolating that, I can pretty much figure that I don't think I'm gonna make it. it doesn't take help of course the dog isn't even breaking a sweat, which makes me feel even worse. This is the summit of Fenamaho, Codfish Island. Uh, what we're referring to is the last nature reserve. Um, lots of antennas up here because they are monitoring a lot of Kakapo, the little transmitters on him. His little dog is helping to protect them today. Aren't you, Millie? Yes. Yeah, I'm real impressed by the whole thing. At this stage, by day five on the island, and having walked around most of it and not found any sign of rodents, my mind starts to wander a bit and starts thinking about other things like an article I read online before I left which said, we all spend too much time glued to our screens these days. And we need to get outside to nature to recharge our senses and those type of things. But after five days of having no one but one other mammal to share this with who has very poor communication skills I'm starting to think I've taken that too far and perhaps there's some kind of happy middle ground between the time we spend on our computers in the office and the time we spend out in the forest like this place Well, we're coming to the end of another big day searching another, this looks like pest free island. Really seems to think so. Really, is this one pest free? But we'll see you guys uh, back on the mainland when we get there one, some stage. Hopefully, we can meet up in person. Till then, stay safe. Come on, this way. Mel! <laughs> Come here! Okay, go. Go. Okay, up, up, up. Go. And then you have to go past the thing. Come on. I can't believe I'm going to go past it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.